Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul and I'm honored to be connecting with you here again today. It is a Tuesday. It is August 8, 2017. And today is a very special day. <clears throat> it is a day that we will be celebrating and understanding more about the soul light era. What is the soul light era? When did it begin? Why are we celebrating it? What is its significance to you and to humanity? That is what you can expect that we will be covering today as we move forward on this live stream. Yesterday was a very uh, well received live stream. There were quite a few people that joined and it was a live stream in which <clears throat> I was able to connect to a lot of hearts and souls with some very, very high level wisdom. And I encourage all those that are new to uh, subscribe to my Facebook uh, page and ask me to be a friend so that you can review the previous live streams. Last week we did an entire series and I was focusing on gratitude, also Mother Earth, uh, Dao Hands, if you wanted to be a healer. So there's quite a few different um, approaches to soul and the soul light era. But in any case, uh, today should be very exciting. So thank you for those who are tuning in. Thank you for clicking on that share button, letting other people know about this. <coughs> uh, truly, I'm grateful for that. This is the second day with Facebook's new format. I'm not a big fan of it. I'm forced to be very vertical uh, in this. I prefer the horizontal versions, but they made a software adjustment and they have not fixed it yet. So we're stuck in this format. So I know you don't care, but I have an attachment to it, so I care. But anyway, uh, I'm going to ask those who watched yesterday, you know, how was that experience for you? Please share. What was your experience yesterday if you tuned in? Uh, for me, it was really very awakening and uh, very, very valuable. So also, uh, well, it's, it's not something you can watch now. Unfortunately, I just did a, uh, I just did a live stream on Dr. Shaw's chanting channel and I connected to the, uh, to the elders and chanted for about 15 minutes. It was some very ancient sounds coming out of me. So I wish that was recorded, but unfortunately it's not. So I can't steer you towards that. <clears throat> so we've got quite a few folks jumping in here. <coughs> Excuse me. So welcome Becky Lafab, Aloha Amy Hirick. Welcome Don Brown, Aloha Lisa Carter, and Robin Toth, welcome. Welcome Jose, Aloha Kristen Rojas, thank you so much for assisting me Kristen. Welcome NNC, welcome Suki Singh, Aloha Ali, welcome also to, uh, to Janice, and welcome to Julia Lawrence, Aloha Crane, great to see you here Crane, and welcome NNC, welcome Suki, welcome Chantal Antoinette, welcome also to Deborah Anderson and Peter Coyle, aloha. Welcome to Linda Jansen and welcome Nelson Fiedler, Lisa, aloha, welcome Lisa, welcome Patty Larimore, aloha Jessica and if Chloe's with you, aloha Chloe, welcome also to Candy and maybe your mom's with you also Jessica, welcome to your mom. <coughs> And uh, so also a welcome to Leanne Benedetti. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for sharing, inviting others to join. It's very appreciated. Welcome Helena Yakman and welcome also to Victor Bigno. So today I will be focusing on the soul light era. So show of hands, how many of you know what the soul light era is? And then a show of frowns, how many of you do not know what the soul light era is? I want to see both so that I have a good idea. So frown if you don't know what the soul light era is. Happy face if you do know what the soul light era is. 
Peter says, I'd opened my eyes last night. It was a brilliant experience, but there was a brilliant experience last night. Thank you for it. Excellent. So I see, uh, I'm, I see uh, about a few more frowns than happy faces to get an idea. So it looks like right now, at least, maybe 50 or 60 percent are not familiar with the Solite era. And there are more, uh, more that are not familiar than those that are. That's actually very good. <coughs> uh, Don says that yesterday she felt like she was on fire and the floor vibrating. I see some more happy faces, so some people are aware. That's good. Okay. So thank you so much for sharing. It gives me a kind of an idea. So... Um, if I haven't commented or mentioned your name, please forgive me. But let's go ahead and um, connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And we'll connect with love, peace, and harmony song. And then we're going to move forward with today's sharing. So again, we place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center with the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes, fully connect. Dear our beloved divine, all layers of creation, divine Tao source, dear beloved Mother Earth, dear angels, healing angels and archangels, masters and ascendant masters, gurus, lamas, sifu, saints, our beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Bodhisattvas, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, <clears throat> beloved Krishna, all beings of light serving the planet of the light side. Dear the soul of our individual, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, honor you, respect you. We ask most humbly for your presence today and sincerely apologize if we have not honored you more, respected you more, and connected with you more. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes, love you, honor you, respect you. We ask that as we chant your mantra, that you connect heart to heart, soul to soul, and bless us to open our hearts, to align more to the divine, to our source, to our soul. Please borrow my mouth and assist me in offering the wisdom, teachings, and guidance and blessings today for this information on the Soul Light Era. <clears throat> so for those that are new, unfamiliar, listening for the first time, this is the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. It is a mantra. It is a healing mantra. So make a request to heaven at this time. This is a blessing. This is a gathering tool and a servant. Let us all chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lu, la, li, lu, la, lu, la, ha, li, lu, la, lu, la, li, lu, la. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Long, li, rung. Her musher shang, shang ai ping on a she, shang ai ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Oh, I wash in our ling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang li, hing, rong. 
儿母是生，相爱平安那些，相爱平安那些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> 好，好，好 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you, everyone, for joining today. Thank you for letting others know about this. Today, we are focusing on celebrating. The Soul Light Era. What is an era? What is soul? And what is soul light? An era is a span of time, a very large span of time. It's not. It's a non-specific number in many cases. It just represents a shift.、Uh, for example, the Bronze Age, the Metal Age.、Um, we are, have been in an age of mind over matter. Uh, we moved into the internet or computer age, the the uh, uh, in uh, many different names for it. <clears throat> But these are eras. Okay, the soul light era is something that is、uh, has a unique wisdom and teaching associated with it. Let me find my book here,、um, which I'm going to go into in just a minute. I'll read directly. Up in the book, what it is, and then also <coughs>、uh, soul and soul light. Most of us know what soul is.、It、seems that the camera has had trouble adjusting. There we go.、Um, most of us know what soul is, and、uh, we think we know what soul light is, but the entire terminology, soul light. Era actually represents an entire incarnation. It represents a dramatic shift. Now,、uh, last week I offered wisdom and teachings on <coughs> Mother Earth's transition. For those that missed it, for those that are new, don't miss it. I am not going to sugarcoat it. You need to go back and watch last week's teaching on Mother Earth's transition. I offer、um, internal guidance and wisdom, external guidance and wisdom, Master Shah guidance and wisdom, and try to do it in such a way where it did not challenge anything that you already know, but enhanced what you're already aware of in such a way that it moves you further in your overall awareness of what's really happening with Mother Earth and Mother Earth's transition. So if you missed that, please go back to my to my timeline, watch it. Also above this video. <clears throat> it lists the link to access my archives, and so you can watch it also that way. And there's also and now it is on my podcast. It's my podcast come out a week after the live streams, so you can watch it any number of ways or listen to it. That leads very well、uh, into today's wisdom and teachings. I'm going to read directly from Master Shah's book, one of his books where he, he talks about this many times. Now. This book is Soul Healing Miracles. In order for <coughs> this to make sense, I have to share some things with you. And for the new people, this might be a little、um, uh, might be no problem, easy to understand. Might be something you have to think about and and let sink in.、Uh, you, for those that have watched me, you've heard it before. It'll just be something you've already heard. Master Shah. Is、um, a dedicated servant to humanity. I don't know of anybody, <coughs> excuse me, any person I've ever come across that travels 11 months of the year,、uh, not thinking of self, staying up to ungodly hours of the night, answering phone calls, answering、uh, calls from his his his、um, top teacher,、uh, who who is takes care of everything, people calling in for life saving blessings, etc. And he basically puts his life on the line every day to save people's lives. He teaches people 
about love, peace, and harmony. His message is bring love, peace, and harmony to the world. He's gallivanted around the world for the last 18 years purposefully <clears throat> doing what he's been asked to do. He states unabashedly that he is a divine vehicle servant and channel. And there have been half the room gets up and walks out and says, well, nobody can be somebody that works just for God directly, you know, and does what God says. That That's only for a person like a Jesus. Well, this might be where you hang up. But I encourage you to have an open mind. God sends many, many people. God sent you here. You're a messenger. You save people's lives. When you go up to heaven, you'll look back and probably see where you saved at least three people's lives. But God also sends big messengers. Master Shah happens to be one of them. And <clears throat> um, after becoming a divine vehicle servant and channel, he started doing what he was asked to do, which is run around the world, do miracle healing, which he never takes credit for, always gives credit to God, and <clears throat> teaches people love, peace, and harmony, teaches people how to self-heal, and more. And in that more part, uh, on August 8, 2003, what's today? August 8. <clears throat> on August 8, 2003, there was uh, information that was shared with him. And he was told that on this day, there is a shift occurring in heaven. So now I'm going to read to you the information. Okay? This is in the fifth chapter on the book Soul Healing Miracles. It is in other books. This is the one that I located it in. Uh, and... So I'm going to read this to you. It says, the chapter title is The Source Ling Guang, which means soul light. Ling means soul. Guang means light. The Source Ling Guang calligraphies. The Source Jing Qi Shen. By now you should know what Jing Qi Shen means. Uh, the Source Jing Qi Shen field. So what he's saying is the soul light calligraphies creates a field for healing the spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical bodies. So that's the title of this chapter. But it starts out like this. I have shared a lot of spiritual wisdom about the soul light era in my earlier books. I will emphasize this important teaching again. On August 8, 2003, the Divine held a meeting in heaven and announced that the last universal era was ending and that a new era, the soul light era, would begin on that day. Now, I want to diffuse some perceptions that might be occurring for some of you. This is not um, Mother Earth transition, which has been happening for a long time. Again, go back to my previous video. This is about a specific occurrence at the level of heaven, which impacts everything, not just Earth, all universes. Okay? Big difference, the Mother Earth transition. <clears throat> This would begin on that day, October 8, 2003. The soul light era would begin on this day. The next era was named Shagu, X-I-A, Shagu. Welcome, Roseanne. Welcome, Heather. Welcome, Tammy. And also welcome to Roseanne. Uh, welcome, Elizabeth. And welcome, uh, everybody else, if I missed your name. Thanks for joining. So the next era is called Shagu. Sha means lower or near. Gu means ancient, near ancient. It is the era that began 15,000 years before. So go back 15,000 years. That era was called Shagu, near ancient. And it ended on August 8, 2003. <clears throat> before Shagu was an area before that. So go back 15,000 years, then go back 15,000 years before that. It was called Zhong, Zhonggu era. Zhong means the middle. Gu means ancient, so that means middle ancient. So before these two eras, there was one before them, and it was called Shanggu. S-H-A-N-G, Shanggu. Shang means upper, okay? Upper ancient. So if you think about it, lower ancient, middle ancient, upper ancient. Which one will carry the highest frequency? Which one will carry the greatest power? So we were, uh, we go back 45,000 years approximately, Shanggu. Then came um, 
Jong, Jonggu. And then, most recently, we just finished Shagu. And then we come back to the one from 45,000 years ago, Shanggu. Okay? This is important. Reincarnation is a universal law. Human beings reincarnate, but you might not understand that time reincarnates. Wow, that'll raise an eyebrow, huh? Time reincarnates on Mother Earth through a cycle of eras. Eras last approximately 15,000 years. On August 8, 2003, the Shagu, or High Ancient Era, excuse me, Shagu, the Low Ancient Era, finished. And now we come into Shangu, the Higher Era. And then this rotates, okay? So they go around in a circle. So you know Mother Earth's transition as a time in which we are moving into fourth dimension, fifth dimension, and so forth, okay? But what you might not have ever heard is that the soul light era is something that is ordered by heaven. It is a time that is decided. And listen to this part very carefully. We think we are it. Earth, human beings, life on earth, that's it. Some of us are more aware, we realize there's more. Oh yeah, there's more. There's Buddhas and there's Jesus and there's heavenly beings. And so that's it. Heaven and Mother Earth. No, guys, wake up. To think that there's nothing out there on the countless planet, stars, galaxies, and universes, you're sleeping. Okay? Time to wake up. There is countless life in countless locations and countless... Look. But the truth is that we're all and forever have been connected. We are never, ever apart. When we say something negative here to that one person, the butterfly effect begins and it ripples out through that person who then becomes possibly negative to others and it goes on and on and on. And it doesn't stop at the last person they're negative to. It ripples out and it creates a negative wave for ever till the edge of creation. If we say something positive or chant love, peace, and harmony, it creates a wave of love, peace, and harmony. And it goes out past Mother Earth to the edge of creation, wherever that edge is. And maybe there is no edge because creation is constantly occurring whenever we have a thought. But everything we say, think, and do impacts the ripple. The eras and things like Mother Earth's transition occur as a process of the entirety of creation leveling through a series of uh, growth cycles so that we return back to oneness. If in this process there is no uh, awakening, there is no catalyst that causes people to move from darkness back to light, because darkness is not, um, not bad, it's just negative energy. It's, it's opposite pole of positive energy. So, Creator does not say, I hate my left arm and I love my right arm. Creator does not say, I hate the negative energy, I love the positive energy. No, that's not. Creator is all things. So, Creator uh, expanded itself and gave all souls free will, and therefore, creation continues ad infinitum. The soul light era is an aspect of Creator putting into uh, a very specific mandate on all levels, heaven and all universes follow the mandate to move back towards light. These mandates create massive, massive shift, not just on Mother Earth, but everywhere. Everywhere is impacted, okay? So know that the Solite era is not just this little bitty thing that's happening here on earth much 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 bigger we are moving towards a very special time <clears throat> i will continue and then give you a little more information so welcome also to angie welcome uh carly welcome shirley schuster welcome brenda maurer and welcome lisa bellavance welcome gene wood uh, and welcome tammy 
If I haven't mentioned your name, please forgive me. Welcome, Angela Diacomo. <clears throat> Saints in the last Shanggu era had extraordinary abilities and created many, not a few, like commonplace soul healing miracles. The source is the creator of heaven, Mother Earth, and humanity, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. The power of the source cannot be explained in words or comprehended by the thoughts. Miracle stories in human realms are everyday stories for the source. So the era that we entered into, August 8 in 2003, is the era of miracles. It is the era of all those things that we have categorized as impossible. It is the soul light era. Why? Because as we move into these other layers of frequencies that some refer to as dimensions, as we awaken to our original source powers, as we release the fears, the doubts, the worries, those, those uh, selfish thoughts, words, and actions, those things that separate us from source, that separate us from our original soul, as we um, work through the sufferings of our life by using love and peace and harmony, by doing forgiveness, by doing those things that Master Shah, I, and all of the teachers of this wisdom have been trying to pass forward onto you, by implementing these, we bring ourselves into a higher frequency, therefore less suffering, okay? Who likes suffering, right? Nobody does. But that means you have to do the work. You don't do the work, you're gonna suffer. Very simple. The Soul Light Era is forcing this not only upon humanity and Mother Earth, but upon all souls. How many of you know of the great children that are coming in? Children with extraordinary intelligences, light abilities, art abilities, a love, extraordinary love beyond the most loving human on earth that is of our age. The children are coming in in heaps and who do you think those children are? They are from the previous era. They carry with them the highest heaven's frequencies and the highest heaven's light. They are saints. They are Buddhas. They are extraordinary enlightened beings that have returned to earth to usher in this era of light, to lead us, the older folks, on how to get there, okay? Because the minute we think we're teaching the children, wrong again. Okay, get off your high horse, let go of your ego. We're just giving them boundaries. But if you start, if you stop your children from being the beautiful souls they are, shame on you. Be the good parent that gives them boundaries so they don't hurt themselves, but foster their beauty, their love, their compassion, foster their intelligence. Allow them to grow in whatever way they wish and do not stymie whatever they think. Allow it, support it, grow it, for they are the light. They are the saints that have come in to usher us into this era. Okay? Make no mistakes about that. <clears throat> so in June 2013, Master Shah, who has been a servant for heaven, uh, been traveling the world, was given the authorities to transmit power into the calligraphies, hence the calligraphies on the front of this book and the calligraphies in the book. You, uh, the calligraphies carry the higher frequencies of heaven and higher so that we can transform our blockages. That's why we always suggest trace them. It's the fastest way to stop suffering. Who wants to, to suffer? Who could ever imagine that singing a song and tracing a calligraphy could make your suffering less? The brain can't comprehend. But as we move into the soul light era, we just start to comprehend that it can be that simple. Why? Because as this indicates, we, we reincarnate, but so does time, so does eras. We are moving into an era of miracles. These saints that are coming in, they carry such purity. These children that are coming in carry such purity that for them, walking on water will not be a big problem if they get good training. For them, 
putting up their hands and creating a soul healing miracle where someone's suffering dissolves in, in minutes should be relatively easy actually because they don't have the negativity mindsets, attitudes, beliefs. They don't have the programming that has been infused upon us by the age that we are leaving. The negativity that has been a part of this age that we are leaving has an agenda. They're doing their part. We're doing our part. Our part is to support positivity. Their part is to create negativity. And the purpose of negativity is to create a juxtaposition to force the choice of positivity. When we choose positivity, what are we doing? We're choosing to balance our yin and yang. We are choosing to release the suffering. We are choosing to recognize the negativity that brought us our suffering. And we balance it with positivity. All of the practices that you'll ever receive from Master Shah, any of the wisdoms, all of the downloads, treasures, calligraphies, everything has one simple purpose, which is to release the negative, bring forth the positive. Very, very simple. <coughs> In Master Shah's advanced teachings, he calls it <coughs> Tao abilities. Uh, he teaches how you can open your spiritual channels. How many masters have you ever come across that actually teach you step by step how to boost your foundational energy centers, step by step how to build uh, uh, and uh, open your third eye in a safe and balanced way? How many teachers teach you how to protect yourself and it actually works? How many teachers transmit power to you and you have miracle hands literally in one second? And it's validated. You can literally in one second after receiving a transmission offer a blessing and somebody's pain disappears. It takes a very rare being to accomplish that. And on top of that, a humble one who takes no credit for it. Master Shah uh, has been one of the stewards, because there are many others, one of the stewards that has brought to humanity the wisdom of soul. He is, in my opinion, the preeminent uh, teacher of soul and the soul light era. He teaches that when you ask forgiveness and offer forgiveness, you're clearing your negativity, allowing for positivity, therefore less suffering. These are all common sense soul light era activity. It started 14 years ago and today is the anniversary of the soul light era. So very few people actually know about it because they don't really know the power and significance of this teacher and his service to humanity. But slowly but surely you are awakening. <clears throat> Again, he doesn't really care if you awaken to him being here. What he cares about is you awaken to your soul, its purpose, which is to serve. Uh, and your purpose as a soul in being here, which is to awaken, release your suffering, further move towards love and light so that all souls can rise together. That's his only agenda. Um, he, uh, he has been given authorities and power to assist you with that by putting transmission in his books by bringing calligraphies to humanity. So the soul light era is also happening in heaven. What does that mean? It's also happening in other planets, stars, galaxies, and universes. What does that mean? That means that if all the planets, stars, galaxies, and universes were turning a certain way, that means that this order, this uh, transition of time, causes all of them to make a slight adjustment in their trajectory so that the frequencies that they move into force force, higher love, higher uh, frequencies, higher light. It forces the darkness to be both exposed, released, revealed to be uh, uh, washed away and converted with positivity. <clears throat> Those that um, fail to awaken, they are given the same love. This is going to be very hard for some of you to hear. There are many, many beings on this planet and off world um, that are not positive beings. They have an agenda that is not positive. They have not uh, recognized Creator. They have went opposite direction. Creator 
has no animosity, no hatred, no judgment, no criticism towards any negative or what might refer to as a dark soul. Could you imagine that? That's the benevolence of our Creator. I just mentioned a minute ago, how could a Creator? That's like saying, I hate my left hand, I love my right hand. It all comes from Creator. So Creator has put into action uh, a process through which all of its creation goes through a process of leveling up, slowly but surely, slowly but surely leveling up. And this action, the Solite Era, August 8, 2013, was an order, if you will, at the level of heaven to uh, move everything forward. Those that do not awaken, those that do not move forward, they simply stay in that same frequency. So touching on some of the wisdom taught last week, again, if you miss this, go back to last week's teaching on Mother Earth's transition, but coming back to that and pulling it into today, <coughs> this um, transition time does not mean necessarily that we're going to become light beings. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen instantaneously. Some believe it does. Maybe it will. Uh, based on everything I've come to understand, I don't believe so, because we've been going through this process for about 80 or so years. More and more light's been coming in, more and more light children, saints coming in, and children's bodies have been coming in. Um, basically, as we continue to move towards awakening, more towards love and light, what is happening is our ability to see light beings, to feel more love, our ability to refuse to accept negativity is becoming more predominant. Therefore, we are naturally moving into 45D, whatever D you want to call it, okay? But it is a process in which the entirety of creation is in this process, not just you and I. And as we move into this process, uh, it will, whether you like it or not, it will force itself upon you. The Solite Era brings all things soul. Your soul lives forever. You do not. <clears throat> so in this process of forgiveness, forgiving all those that shit on you, dumped on you, caused relationship pain and suffering, ripped you off, stole money from you, took your house, caused you a painful divorce, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we've all got our horror stories. But guys, if you want to make it into these higher dimensions, you have to forgive. And you do it through the recognition of soul. Soul carries forth the wisdom of all lifetimes. Soul carries forth the suffering created upon others in all lifetimes, and those have returned to you in this one. The Solite Era forces us out of mind into heart. The Solite Era reminds us that soul is the boss. The Solite Era is about soul over mind over matter. We're moving from mind over matter to soul over matter. You heal things at the level of soul first, and the mind and body follows. This is how life works. This is the nature of the soul. This is the nature of creation. It is uh, uh, an aspect of the nature of creation, should I say. Nothing is 100% accurate, because the minute you think it is, it's obviously not. Uh, but it's a pretty good representative example of why we're here and what your purpose is. So this era is what we are celebrating. <clears throat> when you connect to the soul light era, what are you in fact connecting to? You are connecting to all of the beings of light, higher than you, all of the dimensions, higher than you, and you are connecting with gratitude to them. So now that you have a reasonable understanding of uh, where you are at in this process of awakening, then you move into uh, forgiveness and connection. So I'm going to do a practice forgiving, connecting, and honoring with gratitude <clears throat> this great opportunity. One more thing I want to say as I'm hearing the messages, I want to say it. Your life may be going through great suffering right now. Lack of love to self, an ability to find others, financial suffering, pain. Okay, again, we all have our horror stories. Here's what I want you to hear. Your soul was dancing, dancing in circles, up and down, jumping up and down with the highest and greatest 
joy possible before your incarnation. Because it knew that this time was exceedingly rare. Once, only every 45,000 years does something like this occur. Well, you're in the time of the greatest transition from darkness to light. Or you're in the time of the greatest miracles because these kinds of transitions are exceedingly rare. This is a transition time in which you have the greatest opportunity to clear the greatest amount of your spiritual debts or karma, negativity, whatever you want to call it. You have the greatest propensity to clear bucket loads of it through awareness, through awakening, through forgiveness. And then move into the highest amounts of light possible. This time, in all time, is the greatest time. And that's why your soul was dancing coming in. Now you might be here suffering going, what the hell is my soul thinking? Okay, but it knows that this opportunity is the greatest of all opportunities. Because you do not get these opportunities when you're hanging out in heaven just doing simple meditation. It's when you're in the midst of the hardest places where you have the greatest growth, where your soul levels up and reaches enlightenment potentially in one lifetime. That's how rare these opportunities are. That's why these great beings are coming in, because this is their opportunity to level up as well. That They come in, they help us to awaken and level up. You think they're not going to be moved up on their soul journey? This is an extraordinary time. So do not wallow in the, in the, in the woe is me. Do not wallow in the I'm suffering stuff. Grab it by the horns and say, I'm sick and tired of suffering. I'm going to move into love, light, forgiveness, compassion. I'm going to move into selflessness instead of selfishness. I am going to take this life and do better with it. If this resonates with you, learn more. Connect to the wisdom teachings of Master Shah. Keep coming back to these live streams. Let's do a practice together, all right? <clears throat> Let's place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Let's close our eyes and let us connect. Dear all of the beings of light who have come to this practice today, dear my beloved Creator, dear my own soul, dear the soul of the soul light era, dear the soul of all of the beautiful beings of light from heaven that have come into the children on Mother Earth today, all of the star seeds, all of those that have come to serve humanity. I love you. I deeply honor and respect you. I thank you for your unconditional service. I thank you from my heart for you choosing to come in during this great time of darkness and light. I ask most humbly and sincerely for your forgiveness. If I have done anything in this or any lifetime, that has kept you from being in the light, that may have kept you from sharing your light, love, and wisdom with others. If I have done anything to any souls anywhere in time that has harmed their soul journey by offering wrong teachings, teachings that took them off their path, teachings that took them away from the light, from my heart, I sincerely, sincerely apologize. I wish to awaken to the great opportunities that are available here now at this time on Mother Earth. I wish to awaken to choosing love, light, forgiveness, and compassion for myself mostly and for others. For when I forgive myself, love myself, when I honor myself as a as a soul in the likeness of my Creator, I can then be love and light for others. I thank you from my heart and soul for everything that you do. Dear my soul, please bless me to awaken more to this path you have brought me into. Dear my heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, please bless me to further develop my spiritual channels so that I hear you better, hear you clearly, and make better choices for my soul journey. Dear the soul of Da I, 
the greatest love as I chant you could you please bless my soul journey they're the soul of all the beings of light who have come in for the soul light era could you please bless my soul journey dear the soul <clears throat> of the calligraphy da I the greatest love the countless blessings in the calligraphy could you please radiate your greatest love to me and awaken my journey thank you thank you thank you now I have the da I calligraphy in my hand here I will trace this calligraphy on your behalf to serve you <clears throat> with your eyes closed connect to all of the children souls those are all the beings of light that have come in in physical form connect to all the beings of light in the heavenly realms connect to mother earth connect to the soul light era the era of miracles with gratitude and love and let us chant together da I, which means the greatest love. Da I, 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 da I. Da I da I greatest love, greatest love, greatest love. Greatest love. Keep your eyes closed. Receive the blessings. Connect to Mother Earth. Connect to the Soul Light Era and all of those who came to serve. Da I da I. Da I da I. Da I da I da I da I greatest love, greatest love melts. All blockages opens my heart and soul. Die, die, blesses the soul light era. Die, die, blesses the soul light era. Die, 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 die. I greatest love, unconditional love, <coughs> melts all blockages. Purifies my heart and soul. Greatest love, unconditional love, melts all blockages. Oh. 
opens my heart and soul. He sure died. Wrong was I now? Shin Shin Shan Ming. He sure died. Wu Jin I. Wrong. What I now? Shin Shin Shan Ming. Continue to visualize all of the beings of light, countless beings of light that have come in in the form of children, all of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, all of the saints, heaven's animals, all of the layers of divine Tao and Source, beloved Jesus, all of those serving your soul journey, serving humanity's soul journey, Visualize them surrounding you, showering you with the greatest love, with the greatest light. Feel and receive the blessings. Ask for blessings to clear your blockages of self-love. Ask the blessings to help you to forgive those you have difficulty forgiving. Ask the blessings to prepare you for the soul light era in Mother Earth's transition. Ask for the blessings to awaken your spiritual channels that you may receive clear light messages so that your soul moves in the right direction and that you move forward in positivity, love and light. Receive the love, receive the light, gather it in your heart center, receive the love, receive the light, receive the love. Receive the light. I want you to send your love. First, send it to your Creator. Say to the Creator, I love you. Thank you. Now see your soul as a golden light being in front of the Creator. Say to your soul, I love you. Please forgive me. Now see your inner child, your younger self. Say to your inner child, I love you. Please forgive me for not honoring you, supporting you, giving you all the love you need. Send your light and love to these three beautiful souls. I love you, light and love. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. And these souls send you all their love back. You are now fulfilled, released entirely of disconnection from your soul and your inner child. It can be that instant. You only need to accept it. Now offer your love to Jesus, 
to Mother Mary. Offer your love to Buddha, to Kuan Yin. Offer your love to all of the saints, angels, gurus, lamas, spiritual mothers and fathers, all the beings of light. Offer your love to all of them. I love you. 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 And all of them send the love straight back to you, filling your heart, releasing you of spiritual debts. Maybe you went against them in previous times. They are forgiving you. And now all of your family members, the ones that you don't love so much and the ones you have great love for are in front of you. Send them your love. Ask for forgiveness. Maybe you harmed them in a previous time and therefore they're not very pleasant to you this time. Ask forgiveness. Offer your forgiveness. Move into the Solite era. Be a part of the higher dimensions. It can only happen through love. I love you. 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 And their hearts are so wide open, all of them, including the ones that you felt great discomfort with, send you their greatest love their gratitude for your forgiveness. They are so grateful because now they can move higher on their soul journey as well. Such a great service to you and them. Our last uh, service will be to all souls. Imagine the 7.7 .7 billion souls on earth. Many very unpleasant souls. They need love. We are one. Creator is all things, positive and negative. The negative are lost. What they need is love. We offer all souls love. Let us chant to serve all souls. I love you. 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 I Let us bow our heads to our beloved Creator who loves us all so very much that they would, our Creator would send to us our Heaven's teams. We each have a team assigned by our Creator to each of us. How benevolent is our Creator? How benevolent is our Creator to give us all these beings of light? Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha, Krishna, Kuan Yin, 
all those not mentioned that have come to service. How benevolent is our Creator to bring teachers that give us opportunities, the teachers that we sometimes don't like too much, who give us the opportunities to purify and release our anger, our irritation, our grief and suffering. They are giving us the opportunity to forgive because truly when we do not forgive, we are not moving forward on our soul journey. We are stuck and we cannot move into higher dimensions because we are not recognizing that we may have harmed them first. Let us offer our gratitude to all souls, to heaven, divine Tao and source. Say thank you, bowing your heads gently three times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you to all the beings of light. Thank you to all of the souls that have given me opportunities to learn and work through my suffering so that I do not make the same mistakes again. I wish to offer my deep gratitude to my spiritual father, Master Shah, for this wisdom is all his. I am just a vessel through which the, his wisdom comes through. He takes no credit. He gives credit to our Divine. The Divine gave him the wisdom through his books, through his teachings. It is here to serve you. It is here to move you forward in the soul light era. We are in it. This is a very special day, which is why all of you received very, very special blessings on this day. If you would like to know more about how uh, soul and soul healing works, Tao and Tao healing works. We now have to call it Tao blessings because, uh, well, because those that offer uh, healing through modalities that don't work so well um, don't like it. So if you'd like to know more about Tao blessings, uh, go to my Facebook page listed above. <clears throat> I offer uh, soul readings for those that have trouble moving forward in life. Um, the blessings help you move forward much, much faster. It has been my honor to serve you on this day. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of the beings of light who came to offer the service today. Divine Tao and Source, our beloved Creator. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you for all your support, for sticking with me uh, for this entire uh, duration. Thank you for your sharing. And I will be back tomorrow to serve you again. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All oh, respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. Mahalo.